Welcome back everybody. In this question, we are given a set of four relations as mapping diagrams and we have to state which of these relations is not a function. Now, if something is not a function, if you remember as a review, what that means is that there's going to be at least, let me write at least here, two y values for the same x value. So if there's multiple y values for the same x value, then it's not a function because it's not going to pass that vertical line test. So basically, if you have a function and then you have two points, so two different y values for that one single x value, it's not passing that vertical line test. It's not a function then. So with these sort of diagrams, if you remember, these are the x values, these are the y values. So what you want to look for is basically this sort of pattern, where you have a single x value, right, in this set, and that single x value is going to have two y values, at least two. There could be even three or four. So out of all of these, where do you see this pattern here? Notice you see it in part C. For this x value of zero, there's basically two y values of negative three and positive one. If you were to graph this, so for an x value of zero, which is here, there would be a y value of negative three and then a y value of positive one over here. So it's not going to pass that vertical line test. All right, so that's what you, you want to um, look for. If you see this sort of pattern, so for a single x value, there's multiple y values, it's not a function. Notice how in the other ones, this pattern doesn't exist. Now, one thing I want to mention is that this pattern here, it's different than this pattern. This pattern means that there is a single y value for two different x values. That can happen in a function. So notice here, that's an example. So for this single y value of 1, there's two x values, negative 6 and negative 2. Same thing here. This y value of 4 has x values of 5 and 6. Where else does this happen? Happens, um, I guess, nowhere else. Oh, no, over here. Notice this negative 2 here. This y value has two x values, negative 4 and uh, positive 4. And that can happen. That can happen for a function. So a good example of that is the parabola. We know a parabola is a function and passes that vertical line test. Well, notice that for a certain y value, there are two x values. Right, and that's what this means. That's what this pattern means here. So just because you see this kind of pattern, like this or like this or like this here, it doesn't mean that it's not a function because you can have a single y value for multiple x values. But if you see a pattern like this, like over here in part C, then the relation is not a function.